It's Jordan Tower with JT News. What we got today is top 10 most gangster CEOs. I'm going to read them off and Wendy's going to give her opinion. Mm-hmm. We're going to start with number I love 10. It. You ready, Wendy? I'm ready. Let's get it. <laughs> Kareem Biggs Burke. Oh, I love Biggs. What a good dude. Yes, but they're saying he's one of the most gangster CEOs. Top 10. He's number 10. He's number 10 gangster, huh? You mm. know, this is kind of a loose <laughs> this is kind of a loose definition of yeah. the word gangster, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Okay. You're talking about like music industry gangster, mm-hmm. not like somebody who was a gangster that came into the music industry. Well, right? no, he is a gangster that came into the music industry because he was one of 43 people arrested in a major drug bust. A few so years being ago. a dope boy makes you a gangster? Technically, yes. I mean, you make it gives you street cred. Okay. I've never been arrested, but I'm pretty gangster, you know. It's true, and your dog's even oh. your dog is even named gangster. My dog is named gangster. <laughs> oh wow! Exactly. Yeah. It's crazy. I love gangsters. Is 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 he a gangster to you? Um, not just in, in that sense, sense, but also of the with word his gangster? business. Gangster? No, not at all. What about um, with his I business? I think he's an amazing guy. I think he's an amazing human being. But let let's go back because you, I I don't I don't want to I don't want to fuck up your segment. So yeah. let's okay. Um. He was the guy who funded Rockefeller Records all the mm-hmm. all those years, right. right? Right. That's gangster. Okay. Yes. That's gangster. Yeah, because yeah. he built he built an empire. He and Dame Dash is Dame Dash on the list. Well, we'll get to that. Okay. <laughs> now he's a gangster also because you got gangster venture capitals capitalists out here like the people who invested in Beats. Half of Beats was owned by Monster. Nope. My brother worked for this company too. Uh, it's a venture capitalist firm. I'm sorry, I'm having a brain fart right now, but it was. A, I hate when that happens. I know, but my brother worked for this company, and they put, you know, they owned half of Beats. Right. Mm-hmm. That's gangster. That is gangster. That's gangster. Okay. okay that is gangster. Number. I'm sorry. Number ten is Irv Gotti. Wait, we just did number ten. I yeah, know, but 10. yeah, but yeah, this is how it works. Just, let's just roll with it. Next is okay. Irv Gotti. Let's just say next is Irv Gotti, okay? Thank you. They're all number 10. <laughs> <laughs> so Irv is Gotti. Irv considered a gangster because they say Supreme was backing the label? Is that why he's a gangster? That, yes, his street credibility. Mm. Uh, I, don't, I don't know Irv. And him going toe-to-toe with 50 during that whole time. Right. Kind of gangster, 50 can't right? can't take you there. 50's gangster. You know, yeah. 50 can't take you there. I, I, I get that. But go ahead. And, and Irv Gotti always did portray a gangster image. You know, if you saw the off-camera interviews on DVDs and stuff, you know, he was talking some gangster shit, right, Rack? Yeah, facts. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it was called Murder, Ain't. Exactly. Right. Let's give it right. that. Right. You know? They beat that case, too. That was gangster. Yeah. That I was mean, his gangster. name his name is Irv Gotti. You got John Gotti, Irv Gotti. Yes. Right, right. And right? Chris Gotti, John, his brother. John Gotti was a gangster, for real. Right. That's true. Okay, yeah. next on the list, Russell Simmons. Russell's gangster? Okay, street In cred. his yoga pose? Fans get convenient amnesia when it comes to Russell. They act like they never heard he used to deal drugs. That he once shot at a stick-up kid. Mm. But still pulled the... I missed, but still pulled the trigger. Wow. And it's then really also, crazy. he was pretty gangster in his dealings. Didn't... Uh, didn't Greg Nice and them have like a problem with him, and they went in there with a gun and threatened him and all that? Remember that those stories? I rem- I rem- I vaguely remember those stories. I don't remember who the artists were. Um, there was a lot you know, of stories. That might have been Greg Nice. Ah uh, wee wee. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what else? Lemonade is a popular That's drink, and it still is. And then uh, Brian Leach, you know him personally. I do know Brian. Yeah. yeah. Is he a I like gangster? Brian. I like Brian. Um, I think I think I've always frustrated Brian for my career because when he was at TVT, he tried to sign some of the artists that I was working with, mm-hmm. and I was not a fan of TVT. Right. Although I'm a fan of Brian Leach, I was not a fan of TVT, so I wouldn't do deals with him. Right. Um, he caught a gun charge. Does that make him gangster? That's why they say it. He was caught riding dirty with hollow point bullets that go right mm. through vests. That's okay. pretty gangster. You're ready for war. I guess. I, I own 15 pistols. Does that make me gangster? Of course, they're legal. I have a license to carry. Oh, you, you definitely gangster. He gangster. Might... Gangster. Oh, 
He might also be gangster in his way. He dealt. I mean, look at he had Hurricane Chris Yogati and those guys, and uh, you know there was a gangster business element to that. They weren't all getting their fair share. That's what the that's what the rumors are. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that I, that I don't know. That's kind of gangster. Hurricane Chris. And then we got Easy E next on the list. Easy E of Ruthless Records. Right. Definitely. That's not the movie. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely gangster. If you watch that movie, you know that Easy E was a gangster turned rapper. And uh, he, he the lived the mantra. Rapper. Yeah, and he lived the mantra he put on. You know, I'm not a mm. rest. He said, I'm not a rapper. I'm a hustler who can rap. And that's, mm. that's, that's what um, That's what Baby says, too. From really? Cash Money. Yeah, he oh, says he's a word spitter, a game spitter. So he mm. flipped. He flipped Easy E's. Stilo. Well, yeah, he stole it. <laughs> <laughs> Swag nap. Next, Darren D. Dean from Rough Riders. He's definitely a gangster. I heard the stories. Gangsters. I love D. He was. Do you know up? that me and D have the same birthday? Really? Yeah. I mean, years apart, but we were both born on August eighth. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh, wow. I love D. And then, what about Y? Because um, you got D and Y, right? Yeah, the the and Siobhan, the sister. The yeah. Rough Riders was started by the three of them. Mm-hmm. I think they go Siobhan, together. Siobhan kind of ran the label. Mm. D was always the one that was in the studio with the artists, and then Y handled like the day to day. Yeah, he was arrested for rolling around with a a key of kilo, kilo of cocaine and a loaded forty five. Mm. Was just you know, I think if you're gonna have a, a, a key, you've got to have a loaded forty five. <laughs> that's like rolling around with like thirty some odd thousand dollars. Not that I know. That's true. Yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot of money. Like if I were rolling yeah. around with that, I, I'd be strapped too. And, and definitely got to be strapped. In two thousand seven, he was doing this. Mm. Yeah. This is after the uh, success of Rough Riders and all that. Yeah. I mean, you, and after the motorcycle British, accident. Remember yeah. the motorcycle accident? Oh, yeah. yeah. Which, he, which he fully recovered from, which is gangster. Yeah, yes. gangster. Why? As J.D. Kiss said in why. Mm-hmm. <laughs> why, did, why did D have to pull I love out D. that D bike? D is actually <laughs> one of my favorite people in the music industry. Yeah, he's cool. I nice. met him a few times. Awesome. I used to yeah. see him right uh, I used to when I lived in Riverdale, he always used to go to that Polo Yoko or Polio place, the chicken place right down the street right. on Broadway. Right, you know, because Yonkers is right up the street from Riverdale. You lived in Riverdale? Oh yeah. For what how many years did I live in Riverdale? Seven no, I d- I didn't know I you lived in Riverdale. Well, just kind of years, right? Was it? Seven years, because I was two years yeah. at the same building with Tracy Morgan back when I first was in college. Okay, that's gangster. <laughs> And then I moved to up the street, and that's where yeah, that's where I always come. Yeah, and Jada Kiss lived literally five minutes up the street from me. Wow. Yeah, so we used to. Jada Kiss would be like, "Yo, come over," and then I come over, and then he wouldn't pick up the phone, and I look up, and his lights would be on, so I knew he was just ducking me. <laughs> <laughs> Typical Jada Kiss. That's funny. <laughs> Jada Kiss is so funny. One of the realest rappers in the game. Yeah, and very talented. Yes. Yeah, very talented. Jay Prince, rap a lot records. It, you know, when I first came into the music industry, mm-hmm. the feds were all over him. They were trying to shut him down. Really? Oh, wow. And they were never able to. This was in the early '90s, and they were never able to shut him down. And whether he's gangster or not, I don't. I can't speak on that because I don't know. Right. But yeah. I'll tell you, being able to beat the feds is definitely gangster. Yes. Yeah. As gang. Very, they, very, very hard to go up, you know, against the U.S. government. So props to him. They compare props him to him. Gus on Breaking Bad. Excuse me. They par- compare him to Gus on Breaking Bad. Remember that character? I remember Gus, yeah. Calm, mind-mannered businessman who runs a fried chicken spot, but on the low is one of the biggest drug kingpins around. That's what I, I love that character on Breaking Bad. I like the ding-ding guy, too. Ding-ding, ding-ding. Oh, ding, yeah, ding, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Now we got next, Sean Diddy Combs. <laughs> Puffy. Puff Puffy. Gangster. Is he a gangster? His dad was, wasn't he? Wasn't his father like a Harlem gangster? From yeah. what from what I heard, yeah. Yeah. Pa- it, that's, not, it, that's not my but, world, so I... I but then I really again, it's, it's, it's other um things said about his father, yeah. too, but, you know... 
from other people. Well, well, let's, break, let's break it down. He said, we can't help but notice when Pac got shot at Quad Studio, Puff was there. When Sean got shot up in the club, Puff was there. When Biggie got killed, Puff was there. When Stout got hit with a bottle, Puff was there. Oh. When Jake wow. the Violator Robles was killed in Atlanta, Robles' friend Suge Knight blamed Puff. That's why he's mm-hmm. being called a, a street gangster, but he's also a gangster with a business. Yeah, he's a paper gangster. He is a paper gangster, yeah. He's, he's also a paper gangster. He walks a fine line. He's like Ghost yeah. almost from, uh, um, from Power. Power, but instead yeah. of running a club, he's running a record business. That's mm-hmm. a good... Ooh, he's like yeah. Ghost from Power. That's a good analogy, yes. yes. I like Ghost from... That's well, a good I mean, analogy. I'm glad you didn't analogy. compare him to like Empire, because I'm sure every... <laughs> right? I'm sure everybody compares... like. People in the music business to, to Empire and to me, Empire is such a joke. Yes, it's such a bad. It's like show. a musical. It is. It's like a musical and it's a soap opera. Yeah. It, yeah, you're right. But you know what's crazy? Like the first couple of episodes was actually good. It, it I is, agree. I, I don't know why. The first season was left. dope. It started out great. It started yeah. out like like exciting, like the way it Power was. Left. And they just went whoop, gone. It's crazy. Yeah. Next, Brian Birdman Williams and Ronald Slim Williams. Street cred. Though the Williams brothers were arrested for driving around with army guns. That's not Mm. why they made the list. We're not going to speak on how in the world they got enough money to start cash money in the first place. Even we're not going to mention the whispers that Baby had something to do with the murder of Yellow Boy, a former member of Cash Money Act UNLV. UNLV, yeah. Or the fact that Uh. they've allegedly stiffed everyone from Jim Johnson's to Manny Fresh juvenile on money's owed we're we're just going to talk about the ever present look on Slim's face because he does look like a gangster I'm going to be honest doesn't that dude just Slim look like, like he's going to kill you if you get out of line true I am scared to death of Slim I never want to speak to him in my life <laughs> you know I might be I might be showing my age here but yeah. he always reminded me of Lurch from the Adams family oh yeah Lurch is very tall, and he has sort of like those sunken, round eyes. <laughs> but is he a nice guy? You uh, used to hang very out. Very nice, yeah. Okay, so you know, looks. And, don't and judge again, a this goes. You know, this is 1998. You know. Yeah, so, but that's who he is at his core. He's a nice guy inside. So. Yeah. He might have. I, just would, had I always liked him. Okay, here's the one that might shock you, Wendy. Okay. Melvin Vernal and Marcus Roach, the one that you weren't even thinking about. From Trill Entertainment. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Trill Entertainment. Last year, Vernal and, uh, and Roach were both charged with the count of attempt second degree murder, illegal Melvin use of Kirk. weapons, aggravated battery, armed robbery, two counts of aggravated assault with a firearm, and three counts of possession of an illegal firearm by convicted felon. Felon. Mm. Their charges sprung the from the accusations of scaring a witness who were going to testify about a shooting of Baton Rouge rapper below. So if Bilo. J- okay, not yeah. below. Bilo. His name is yeah. Bilo. Yeah. He got shot in the face. Wow. Dang. So yeah. They're they're called Mel and Turk. Um, it's funny. I never heard their government names before. I'm like, who are they? Okay. Um, they're the label that has um Bootsy and Webby. Yes. Yeah. And they had Box. Are they still signed over there? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. They ain't getting out of that contract. Yeah, I think so. And then uh, we got number one, Suge Knight, weigh in on this. Why is Suge Knight such a gangster? We know we've seen him in the news. Let's talk about it. That one's that one's kind of an obvious one. Um, he's he's very well connected. He's very well affiliated mm-hmm. in in L.A. with the with the Bloods. Yeah. Um, yeah. He he made some gangster moves. Remember when he when he went to bat for Mary J. Blige and Jodeci? Yeah, no. I remember that. Yep, he kind of scooped them under his wing mm-hmm. and um, said to Puff, I'm renegotiating the contract. Oh, wow, shit. Jimmy yeah. Henchman's not on that list, huh? Should be, but he's not. Yeah, maybe because he didn't really run a record label. It was a But man- then, um, Suge Knight also get points from Vanilla Ice? I Ice believe Ice that he Baby. did. I mean, that's the, that's the rumor, and, it, you know, I wasn't yeah. there, but... The rumor is that he threatened Vanilla Ice and he and he got the publishing to Ice Ice Baby. I don't know if that's true or not. Yeah, like Gossip. he had him hanging upside down from a balcony at a that's hotel or something like that. Yeah, that's what I heard. <laughs> By the ankles. Well, that's, <laughs> something crazy. That's the list. Gangsters. Yeah. 
Uh, you know, the thing the thing that's funny about a list of gangsters in the music industry is if they're in the music industry, they're not really gangsters mm. because they'd be taking a pay cut that's true. to be in the music industry. That's true. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just it's just it's all funny to me. That's a good point. And we'll end it on that, Wendy. Thank you for your insight. Absolutely. Subscribe to I see Wendy you have Day. Yes, subscribe to Wendy Day. This is Wendy Day on subscribe YouTube. Subscribe to Wendy Day. Thank you. Having fun with the with the YouTube channel. She drops every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday, uh, Friday, by the Friday. way. Friday. Yep. Monday, At 11 o'clock, 11 a.m. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. You got to make a little song out of it, too. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Consistent. <laughs>